Good morning, church, and welcome to Sunday, May 15th. Our baker starts us with, I love you, Lord. Sunday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Wen Ling Lai. And our scripture reading is John 13, 31 to 35. When he had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man has been glorified, and God has been glorified in him. If God has been glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and will glorify him at once. Little children, I am with you only for a little longer. You will look for me, and as I said to the Jews, so now I say to you, where I am going, you cannot come. I give you a new commandment, that you love one another, just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. And by this, everyone will know that you are my, dis my disciples, if you have love for one another. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Right before Jesus' farewell discourse to prepare the disciples for his death and departure from the community, Jesus gives them a deceptively simple commandment. Love one another. He doesn't stop there. His additional instruction about how to love one another, just as I have loved you, suggests that there is more to this loving than might first appear. Jesus essentially wraps the essence of who God is and why humans are created into this new commandment, love one another. By this point, the disciples and the readers of the Gospel of John have learned from Jesus by watching him love teach, heal, and interact with people. The disciples know how Jesus has loved and cared for them, but can they now love like Jesus? Would they wash one another's feet as Jesus has? Would they break and serve bread while sharing the cup in remembrance of Jesus as Jesus has? Would they calm one another's fears as Jesus did on the sea to Capernaum? Would they die for one another? Jesus has modeled how and whom to love. Now he explicitly asks his followers to love just as I have loved you. To love like Jesus means to be present and empathetic to people in times of need. As Jesus was for Mary and Martha after the death of Lazarus. To love like Jesus is to feed the multitudes by working for the equitable distribution of food. To love like Jesus is to heal by ensuring that everyone has access to medical and psychiatric care. To love like Jesus is to offer mercy to the penitent thief by reforming our unjust justice system. And to love like Jesus is to receive as siblings in Christ all seekers of the good news. 
By these works of compassion, everyone will know that we are his disciples. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Son of God, have mercy on us as we strive to love one another as you have loved us. Amen. Our closing hymn is The Gift of Love, verse 3. Thanks to you all.